Hey there guys, Jordan in the know here, and for the past two months, I have been full-time in the Android world with the Pixel 7, and I've been absolutely loving it. It's a great phone, and a full review is coming soon, just in case you want to subscribe and stick around. But the reason I'm making this video today is because lately I've been huge into customization and customizing my phone to the best that I can, and uh, during my search for good customization options, I found three Android wallpaper apps that I think are pretty great, and I want to share them with you guys, and hopefully it helps you as well. So let's take a quick look here and getting right into it this app is probably the most well known and probably has been around for the longest and that is the backdrops app which is also available on iOS by the way now in my opinion I think backdrops has a solid selection of exclusive high quality wallpapers not to mention they have a really nice UI to browse their selection I have the premium version here which is included in my Google Play Pass subscription that just gives you no ads and access to a handful of wallpapers not normally available in the free version, but even as a free user, you have a lot of high quality options that are all pretty usable. Their art style is simple and colorful and works really well with Material U. Some of the other selling points are their wallpaper of the day feature, the community tab, which seems to have an infinite amount of wallpapers. And according to their website, all of the non-community made wallpapers are original in-house creations, which are made by the team at Backdrops, which is a nice fun fact. Either way, I've been using backdrops as long as I can remember, and this has served me well over the years in terms of high quality wallpaper selection. The next wallpaper app I want to talk about is a personal favorite of mine, and that is the Wallpee app. This app has also been around for quite some time, as long as I can remember, but there are quite a few things that set this app apart. First, Wallpee is a wallpaper app that pulls their photos from Resplash, which is a free photo upload service that has a massive library of 3 million plus photos. Wallpee takes those photos and basically turns them into a browsable, beautiful, and digestible feed where you can see what's most popular, find community-made collections, and curate your own feed with the favorites tab. Alongside that, Wallpy also has an in-app editor where you can edit the wallpaper before applying it, which is pretty nice. With that built-in editor, you can blur the photo or change the colors around, and probably my favorite feature, which is the ability to see who took that photo and view their library of other photos they've uploaded to the platform. So if you're liking a specific artist, you could just pull up their page and see more of their work. All of those features, plus the seemingly infinite selection, Wallpy is easily one of my favorite on the list. It's got so much quantity and I'm sure you can find something while looking around. And fun fact, the developer that worked on this app is also actually working on Google Maps according to their website, which is just pretty cool to know. And then last but not least, we have one more app that I want to talk about here and then we're also going to do an honorable mention just to mix it up and add some fun to the video here. Uh, this third app is the newest in my rotation and that is the Collections Wallpaper app by Lauren Company. It sounds famous, but honestly, it's just a small wallpaper app here. This one was randomly recommended to me on Reddit. It does cost $1.49 as well, but I picked this up just because my number one pet peeve when picking out wallpapers is how quickly everything can look messy and busy if the wallpapers aren't simple enough. And with collections, I find their wallpapers are very simple and 80% of them seem to transfer over quite well to a busy home screen, which is what I have. The wallpapers have a lot of open space, so it doesn't look cluttered with a ton of widgets and apps hanging around, which is a huge huge benefit to me. Same as some of the apps I mentioned earlier, these are original in-house creations, which is nice. The UI is super clean and just a very responsive app overall. Other than that, there aren't very many features to talk about, unfortunately. This app is very bare bones and there's no community uploads or any fancy features you get with these other apps, so I hate to say it, you're pretty much just buying this app for access to the wallpapers. Hopefully one day we get just a free option as well so everyone can enjoy them, but I just wanted to put this on your radar in case the same reasons I liked it would benefit you as well. Lastly, I want to give an honorable mention to one last app, which is, again, something I found completely on accident just while while browsing through the Play Store, and that is an app called Fluid. It's a free app that at first I thought was just a fun little distressor app where you can interact with the screen to make these cool colors and patterns appear, but then I realized that there is a live wallpaper feature as well, which looked cool and just I thought was worth showing you guys here. Uh, for some reason it did not work on my Pixel 7, but I ended up getting it working on my Pixel 3, and it's just a really cool little live wallpaper effect for those who like that kind of stuff. When you unlock the screen, you get a little burst effect, and then swipe 
swiping to the left or the right or any interaction for that matter is super satisfying and just adds uh, an addicting flair to using your normal home screen, which is why I felt that Fluid deserved an honorable mention. And guys, that's pretty much it here. I just made this video because I wanted to do something fun and just a little bit less serious here. So wallpaper apps were something that I just thought was perfect. So if you guys have any better recommendations, these are just ones that I found while searching. If you have better ones, please share them in the comments. Let us know so that we can all enjoy them. Uh, but yeah, guys, like I said, uh, this was just a fun short little video here. I am getting out of here just so I can work on the next project, but it's been fun. This has been Jordan in the Know. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.